My name is Judith Balcha. I'm Climate Change Adaptation Advisor at the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Energy in Ethiopia. Uh, I would like to share a few things about the, the Ethiopian's CLUES uh, uh, project. Since early 2019, the government of Ethiopia, represented by the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Energy, as well as Planning and Development Com Commission, has started this project along with the, our UN institutional counterparts of the UN DESA, UNDP, and UNSEA. Implementing this capacity development project is important to us because we needed the support in coherence in policy formulation in the areas of the climate, land, energy, and water system. And it will also help the Ethiopian government in transitioning from sectoral to integrated policy making by adapting the CLUES integrated assessment tool for identifying and managing trade-offs and synergies in policy and strategy formulation. This capacity building project has three main objectives. One, a CLUES country model tailored to the circumstance of Ethiopia and the needs of, and priorities of the national counterparts. Two, to build a national cross-sectoral technical capacity for integrated modeling of climate, land, energy, and water systems in support of implementation of the SDGs and the national strategies. Third is developing an institutional mechanism for implementation and integrating the analysis into coherent policies of the different ministries and national strategies. Uh, for the past two years, an interinstitutional core group of analysts has been established from different government agencies that are working on climate, land, energy, and water system. So far, a wide core group of analysts have received two on-site training and one remote or online training in the development and application of the CLUES modeling tool. Um, the CLUS institutional setup includes uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, Central Statistical Agency, the Planning and Development Commission, the Forest, Climate, Forest and Climate Change Commission, as well as the MOWIS affiliated institution like the National Meteorology Agency, the Irrigation Development Commission, the Basin Development Authority, and the Water Development Commission. And because of this interinstitutional setup, data were provided from each relevant sectoral ministries and commission that were facilitated through the close leading governmental institution, which are the Planning and Development Commission, as well as the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Energy. This actually helped uh, for to provide an easier platform for the data to be validated by the national team who are working closely with the UN team. Uh, the policy priority for this project was taken directly from the Ethiopia's 10-year perspective plan that are being developed by the Planning and Development Commission. Uh, in the, This 10-year development plan has six primary strategic players and nine selected thematic areas, but the CLUES modeling tool only focused on these three main policy priorities and uh, three main strategic pillars, which are rapid population growth, economic development and urbanization, the growing and competing demand for resources, which are the energy, water and land, as well as a climate change impacts. And given the current COVID-19 crisis uh, and the short time and considerable work remaining for the project to provide for the 10-year strategic plan the country is developing, a small team of experts from the earlier mentioned participating ministries and commission has been working for the past six months to develop an initial relevant policy insight. This was done in close collaboration with the UN team and the initial output have been presented last month for all involved in stakeholders to contribute to the country's 10-year plan. Some of the challenges that we have faced during our project implementation is that there were quite a lot of delays in firming dates for training of workshops. It is because we had a variety of uh, institutions and we wanted all the trainees to take part. We also have lost some enthusiasm along the way uh, from 
the relevant stakeholders and ministries. This has to do some things, uh, most of the time it has to do with incentives, as well as for the project to be uh, incorporated for the unlock in the trainees uh, TOR. We also uh, faced the COVID-19 crisis, so we were not able to provide on-site training, which in turn uh, was we were challenged with internet but blackouts for people to use at home so that we could provide them online training but most people don't have internet access at home so we've been facing this internet blackouts and the uh, turnout has not been as uh, promising as we have expected so this is basically what uh, the ethiopian closed model has been and uh, i hope uh, you will get more experience from this thank you